Before we board the world's largest cruise ship, Icon of the Seas, down in Miami, today we're taking the brand new Brightline here from Orlando down to Miami. It's about a three and a half hour journey. We are boarding in today's video. Just thought I'd show you guys how we're getting down there. Today, morning of, we have about what? Seven hours until boarding? Oh, so hopefully don't we don't know. have anything it's go early. wrong. Well, it's nice and early this morning. It's not even 7 a.m. Board so at one, so do the math. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. We're excited to uh, go on the train. I've actually never been on a train before. Most importantly, we're excited to go on Icon of the Seas, oh, yes. the world's largest cruise ship. She looks beautiful. Seven days aboard that ship, it's gonna be great. Can't wait. We're gonna have a series here for you. If you guys are new around here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, thumbs video up. Let's get going to Miami, but first, let's board our train. We have a train to catch. Choo choo. <laughs> there's two types of people in this world. One who packs in a small suitcase, and then there's Casey who brings her whole her whole life yeah. aboard. And not only did I bring a bigger suitcase, but I already had to expand my suitcase. <laughs> it's all good. We got a week. You have options, baby. See, I feel like this time it actually makes sense why I'm bringing a lot, right? Yeah. We have to have options. We have to have options. I mean, look, this is a lot for me. If you guys have been here on the channel, you guys know. Oh, my backpack was unzipped. We did show up about an hour early here for our Brightline train. I'm excited. I've never been on a train before. This is the brand new terminal here at... Um, Orlando International Airport and it's a brand new train station as well as they uh, just began uh, departing here to Miami I believe sometime a little bit last year a couple of months ago anyways it is boarding day everybody let's get down to Miami and let's go see what this bright bright line is all about let's go it's gonna be bright <laughs> there's nobody here we're gonna have the train all to ourselves. Honestly, we are here very early because this is this is not like normal airport security. It takes like five minutes. Apparently. Better be late than sorry. Better be late. Oh shoot! Better be on time than sorry. <laughs> Better be earlier than sorry. <laughs> it's early. I think you mean better. Um, wait, no, I'm forgetting. <laughs> I think you mean better early than late. I low key think we're the first person in this building. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we're the only ones here. Casey, we gotta do the honors. Ready? Whoop whoop! Whoop whoop whoop! <laughs> whoop whoop! <laughs> There's nobody here. It's cruise day. We're on, uh, we're on energy 10,000. Oh, here it is. Check it out, bright line. We're greeted with a very, oh, there's a terminal. A really bright sign, look at that. Well, this is cool. It kind of feels like New York in a way. Let's scan our ticket and, and head on in. There we go, okay. Security was super easy. You can keep everything on your person other than your actual bags. So you can keep your phone on you, your wallet, your shoes on, all of that. It literally, we, were, we just walked through, it was so simple. We found the track. Boarding here in about hopefully 20 minutes or so. I think you board 10 minutes before? We've only got 226 miles till Miami. Here we go. It's boarding time. Here we go. We're coach four. I think we're all the way in the back of the train. We're going to Hogwarts. I'm looking inside and these seats actually look really nice. I'm impressed. And in we go. Ugh. Is this us right here? I think so. Okie dokie, well we're on the train. There's actually a lot of space, but something kind of stinky you can't really see outside because they have like a design on the window, but like this is, this is nice. Yeah, this is the, uh, just like a phone. Or if you want the whole thing. This is way it's better like than I thought it was gonna be. Like there is so much space. Honestly, it's like more spacious than a plane. Yeah. The only thing is, under the seat, it looks a little bit. I mean. Well, like, I was just talking about for your bags, oh. but there is space up here to yeah, put Yeah, there's space up person. there. It's really nice. We're right by the luggage crate, too, so we have our luggage right there. Well, with that, we're gonna we're gonna head down to Miami. I thought I was gonna be able to film outside, but can't really see because they have some design on the outside, but it's okay. Three and a half hours, here we come. Maybe it's good, because then we can take a nap. I did want to see what the, the restroom looks like, and it's really spacious. 
kind of impressed with how much space is on this train, but I'm more excited about what's to come. Cannot wait to step on board of the icon of the seas. Now, there's actually a lot of empty seats here. It's actually kind of kind of cool in a way because we have to stop three times before we get to Miami. We're gonna pick up other passengers, I believe, along the way because a lot of the seats are empty, but we're gonna be picking them up probably on other stops. Here's a look at the luggage rack. Now, it did fill up pretty fast. Now, if you uh, have like an oversized one, I don't really know what you do with it afterwards because there is actually a ton of stuff up there, but it's for the smaller racks, um, or sorry, for the smaller suitcases. This filled up really quick. We were we were kind of lucky to, to be able to get that, but we're leaving here, actually, right now. And this is a handicap space, too. Instead of this reclining, it kind of pushes the seat forward and like brings your hips more forward so you don't disturb the people behind you. I mean, we don't have anybody, but still, it's nice because we will have all of our space. Welcome to Miami, everybody. All right, our quick review on Brightline, amazing. We'll probably have a video on it coming back a little bit more in detail, but we just yeah. wanted to get to the port. Literally loved it, flawless, I, flawless. Honestly, I don't think it's worth driving unless you need your car in Miami, if you do the Orlando to Miami or wherever you stop. So, I loved it, I really did. Well, let's go on it a lift and um, let's get there. Let's go. I gotta change first though. Yes, yeah, she does. I come to seas, here we come. My goodness, guys, I'm seriously so excited. We're going on the inaugural, obviously, like we said, but we haven't cruised since May. It's been so long, and this year we're changing that. Tons of cruises to come. We're only about 20 minutes away from the port, about like two miles. It's right across the bay there. Here we go. Actually, the, the lift is only, it only takes nine minutes, not 20. I know I said 20, I think it's because, whatever. Let's just go. Oh, it's about to get wild. Nothing like all the whistles, the excitement before entering on in the cruise terminal. So pumped, guys. We're actually gonna have fireworks on this cruise. I think when we sail away, since this is the inaugural sailing, they're gonna have fireworks. Oh, man. Welcome, guys. It's cruise day. Shout out to all the Royal Caribbean staff out here. We, we did the luggage service. We didn't really want to carry on our, our big luggage. The breeze, they took our luggage. Hopefully it shows up. Hopefully it shows up. Icon of the seas, you can see the ship right behind us. Well, right, right behind the glass. Let's see if we can board Oreo. Our, our boarding, time, boarding time is one, so we're showing up early. It's 12 o'clock. It's cruise time. They said our time does not matter, so maybe we're gonna get on earlier. We'll, we'll find out. It's always a, a bonus if we get on early. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Get on early, come on, Royal, don't, don't disappoint. We can do this. <laughs> I think we might be able to, I don't know. I feel like they kind of do that just to limit the amount of people that show up at the same time. That could be it. We'll but find we out. Had, we had no other option. We got here when we got here and we're just, if we have to wait, we have to wait. Purple carpet is out and there's the ship. We're so close, yet so far away. Let's get in line, let's go. We just checked on in and uh, they said we can board, so let's go. Security was a breeze. We got through everything within like five minutes. Shout out. To Royal Caribbean, that was amazing. Sure enough, here we go. No waiting, we're walking right on. Let's go. Oh, I'm so pumped. Here we go, guys. It's it's been a long wait. Let's go. We're on the gangway. We're about to step on. We're about to step on. Oh my <laughs> God! Let's go. There's no other feeling better than this feeling right now. Oh, the best day. <sighs> All right, let's go. <laughs> the fun is about to start. There she is, a clean ship. There she is. Here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome to the world's largest ship, Icon of the Seas. This is a nice seating area out here. Here we go, it smells great. 
here we are. Hello! Woo! We're here! Oh, there's the pearl! She's even beautiful person. Oh my goodness. Look, it's ready for midnight. Oh, yeah, the balloons. The balloon drops can be midnight. We gotta get them. I kind of Casey goes right to Starbucks, but yeah, she's right, we gotta get this. Rooms aren't gonna be ready until about one. They have champagne for us, baby. You see that? What? Yeah. I'm overwhelmed, where, where? This is my first inaugural cruise ever. <laughs> I cannot believe this moment is here. Oh it's man, champagne. it's so good to be on rail. It's gonna be here to the right, look, champagne. Wow. That pearl is beautiful. What a grand entrance. She's a beaut. We're gonna remember this moment forever, baby. I'm just trying to like take it all in. This is, wow. We're about to have the time of our lives. They're playing the song for us here. Midnight, these are gonna drop. That will be in tomorrow's vlog. Gotta split the vlogs up, baby. Let's get the champagne right here. Let's get it. Hello. We can just grab, right? Yes. This is our drink package right here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now we have to cheers. These are free. You can technically get as much as you want if you just keep circling back. So we didn't get the drink plan. It was really expensive. So we're here just to caffeinate and have fun, cheers. baby. Cheers. That's a chugger. That is really good. This reminds me of the Virgin Voyage cruise. They gave free champagne. So now if you're not new to cruising, you guys know that the first thing you should do is the mustard drill. We're going to do that. Probably come back to the Pearl, but we're also going live here today, so that's starting in like any second now. If you guys missed the live stream, well, you gotta be subscribed, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Oh, look at that, it's cute. Check it out, icon, flowers. Gonna have to hit this later. This is obviously a huge spectacle upon getting on the ship. Long line for pitcher. Hello, thank you so much. Here we go, we got, we got one, we got another one. Real quick. This is our first inaugural together. This is the moment we're gonna remember for a, a long time. And usually on the first day of the cruise when you board, this is like one of the best moments. So it's, sink it in, let's sink I it know. in. I know, it really is like a superior feeling. This is, I wanna savor this feeling forever. I know, I don't wanna leave, but we gotta go explore. I'm so excited. We gotta go live, but and like, we've, we've made it like 20 feet. <laughs> like we have not made it very far. We're already stunned. The pearl is so much more beautiful in person. It's just like that wow factor. They set the tone right. Yes, they did. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to show you guys our room. You're going to see our room in this vlog. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I remember being obnoxious, but we are really hyped. But so is everybody else. I feel like it's okay to be in this. It is, of course. The whole cruise. This way, so. Lady Gaga is playing in the background again here. Don't copyright me, YouTube. Please don't do that. <laughs> We've made it to our muster station, and it's right here in uh, the promenade. Super quick, and we're about to be done, and we can explore and do whatever we want now. The case. Make all the announcements like, have you visited your muster station? You can say yes. <laughs> We're all done. Took two seconds. Just gonna need to watch the safety video. However, I haven't told you this yet. What? But what's the one thing I like to do on every cruise ship? Or what's the one thing I don't like to do? Take the elevator. Take the elevator. I Today also starts, don't like that. Yep. But are we doing that on this ship? Yeah. With twenty decks? Yes. I already felt like this cruise was the exception to the rule because I have that rule too. We're gonna attempt to do the no elevator challenge on this cruise ship, which has 20 decks, 18 for, for those that are guests, but it's gonna be nuts. We think okay. you can do it? We're gonna try, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. I think, um, I think we can do it. I don't say that, that confidently, but I think we can. <laughs> we'll see, do you guys have faith in us? You'll have to watch every single video. I think to go up one flight, we have to go through the Pearl. Yeah, you can just walk up, stairs, baby. We came through the Pearl and actually came to the Pearl Cafe, which I believe is the replacement of the Royal Promenade. So this is all included. Food Casey's gonna, she's gonna pick out shortly and uh, we're gonna go live here. It's the first, first food we got here on the ship. I think I gotta get something too. Can you get me a barbecued chicken sandwich? 
Well, I got to document this moment. This is the first time we're, we're sitting down on the icon of the sea. So if you guys share this moment with us, this is our official spot here on the ship, just right here in the corner. It's so exciting, guys. If you haven't done so, please go ahead and thumbs the video up and, you know, again, subscribe if you're, you're new. First food here, Casey got an apple and a mozzarella sandwich, and I, of course, got a barbecue chicken sandwich, and it comes hot. First bites of Icon of Seas right here. This is gonna be amazing. Food for days. It's good, babe. If you're wondering whose is better, Casey won. She always picks the better options. Like, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I can't help it, I have good taste. We're getting closer to that room tour. Can't wait, we have like a brand new uh, room tour, or sorry, a room concept. Type. For, concept, yeah, type. Yeah. For Royal Caribbean, it's the first of actually of their ship, so. We'll have a little bit of more of a review as it, as it goes on, but again, we're gonna show you in, in this video. The uh, Central Park. Isn't this what our, uh -huh. our view is? We don't have an ocean view, we have a Central Park view. I, I love Central Park views because I like the people watch. Oh. My goodness. Welcome to the world's largest cruise ship, y'all. Unbelievable. This is going to be our view. And none of these, actually, if you can see, have balconies. It's really cool, the new concept. In your room is technically the balcony. The window comes down. I'll show you guys when we get on up there. It's going to be about like 1 o'clock when the rooms are ready. But here we are, the largest cruise ship in the world. I kind of want to go up there too. Don't you want to go up there and kind of shoot down here? I'll follow you. Let's go. Oh man, what a joy! It's beautiful, stunning. That smells like seafood, huh? <laughs> you smell that? I smell that, and I'm not loving that smell. <laughs> Casey doesn't like seafood. It's okay. It is okay. We're back, baby. We are back on a cruise ship. This is unreal. Just show you guys where we walked. Central Park, baby. All right, we've got about six, seven decks to walk. Oh my gosh, should we go in the back? Go up one and go back here? Sure. Yeah, because that's a brand new, um, the brand new area, Surfside, right? Isn't it Surfside? Let's go yes. figure it out. Let's go figure it out. <laughs> There's so many neighborhoods of the ship, but we gotta learn and explore all of them. It is Surfside. Oh, this ship smells amazing. It smells brand new. Nothing like inaugural. <laughs> oh, these are the fancy elevators I saw on TikTok. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. In a way, we kind of have to ride one elevator because you actually select actually outside now. So if you want to go to deck 15, you're going to go to deck 15, but you don't know which elevator you're going to actually use. And they're all around here in this area. But I think if you're on this side, it's going to pick A, B, or C, like one of these three. There's like four different sections. So D, E, F, and then G, H, I, and then J, K, L. So that's how the elevators work, and it's supposedly way more efficient than in the past. But here's actually the brand new Surfside area that we're going to go explore right now. We're going to have actually a, a tour of the whole ship coming on up here. Oh, wow. It's a nice kids section. Oh, it's so Family beautiful. section. Wow, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, the largest water park at sea is up there, baby. Wow. Yeah. Are we going to... Go on the carousel one of these one of these days. You know what you should do? What? Follow me. Just I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you explore it. But what's fun. what's right behind me right now? What's right behind me right here? <laughs> what do we have? If you don't want to take the stairs, we have another fun option. Although I'm not gonna do it now because I'm wearing like white shorts. I'll do it. So I think you should do it. I'll, I'll do it. You. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it though. For here, sure. you gotta you gotta take my backpack. Take my backpack. Um, thing, my I'm just gonna go down and this big okay. camera real quick. Okay. You're gonna go down there and meet me there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna meet you there. I'm okay, there. okay. This is for all ages. You can just take a slide down. Surfside. So that's the tone. Here we go. You ready? Oh, you want a video of me? Okay, okay. <laughs> We're like one of the first to do this. Ready? Woo! 
sounds awesome. So fun. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? Not age restricted. Anybody can go to that. But welcome to Surfside. This is usually where the Aqua Theater is, but the Aqua Theater is in a different spot this time around here on Royal Caribbean ships. It's in the solarium, well, the form of solarium. Thank you. <laughs> is it heavy? Yeah, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> I saw on TikTok that the carousel had really cute animals and things. And look at that pineapple. It's by far the cutest thing I've ever seen. What do you guys think? Do you agree with Casey? <laughs> it is kind of cute. It kind of looks like a minion in a way. The universal minion. Unreal. So excited to be here, y'all. Now the cool thing about this section too is there's like family suites over here as well. Again, this area is kind of revamped for, for families. It's a family zone. Surfside Bites, brand new here on the ship. And this is if you're a, a Royal Cruiser or you're used to seeing the Aqua, Aqua Dome, the Aqua Show. It's not here anymore. I'm excited to see that show. I think that's going to be coming on a little bit later in, in our cruise video. So again, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And I think these chairs are just for parents to sit here and watch their kids play in the, the splash pad. Pier 7, this is new too. Kids are already swimming. So many chairs. Look at all these ships. Look at this. MSC. I think those are all Carnival. And then of okay. course the, the skyline in the back. Yeah. We're here guys. Thank you so much for showing love every single day. I mean, we're so grateful to have the opportunity to be here. Um, this is not, by the way, sponsored by Royal. Um, we didn't get any free crews. That was actually, I believe, the medias were actually before this. I think it was um, the one that came today yeah. and they just got off. They just got off. Um, we're here. We, yeah. we bought our own crew, so yeah. Just thought we'd put that out there and yeah, our room's going to be ready here. So I think we're going to go up to our room and... Yeah, should be ready in nine minutes. Well, let's go. That's so early. I feel like it usually takes like seven at least until like three, two or three. three. I wonder if that's different though just because this is the first like technical sailing and they have Could the media be. one. So Could maybe be. it wasn't fully like stocked. Like I don't know. Fully at capacity. <laughs> I don't know either. I but I don't think it was at capacity either. So. Let's head on up and let's go check out this new concept room here to Royal Caribbean. It's been on other cruise ships, but it's the first edition here on, on Royal. Let's go check it out. I wonder where Playmakers is, because this is usually where Playmakers is. What is Playmakers again? It's where you're going to watch the football games on Sunday. Oh, that's why I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an also an extra charge. All right, let's go to Deck 10. We're actually on Deck 10, so kind of in the middle, which is sort of kind of nice for our no uh, stairs challenge. Yeah, welcome to the brand new section here on a Royal Caribbean ship. What do you guys think? Leave your guys' comments down below. Again, we're going to have probably like a 12 video series here. Oh, the arcade's here too. Nice placement. Here's kind of one more look at how the elevators are. It's kind of a way better way to kind of see it. Just like a little circle and you go to one section and you'll find your elevator. How's it going? Well, we saw the, the elevator. Now here's our first look at the stairs, and they look nice. It's going to be cool to kind of see each design. And, uh, yeah, this is nice. It's going to be great. My legs are definitely going to be tired, though. We only have to go up three, so it's good for that. It's so quiet, too. It's so quiet. Casey's beating me. Wait up, Case. Wait up. I'm just trying to get the stairs over. Do you guys do the no stair challenge? Comment down below. Rooms look like they're ready too. The they're not blocked off, so we're gonna go to a room right now. No waiting, and it's before one. We love you, Royal. Don't know if it's gonna happen for you guys' cruise. This is just different because it's an odd girl. We're this way. Let's go. It smells so new, BB. Let's go. Oh yeah, we're all the way that way. Okay. Because we're by Central Park View. We're we're kind of like midship, but comment down below if you guys agree. This is. One of the best parts of the cruise, other than walking on, is finding your room where you're going to be living for the next seven days. Oh, we're so excited. These rooms are also a new concept as well. Instead of having like a connecting door, this is a con connecting door one. They have like these built-in areas, so if you have a family here, you know, the connecting door isn't inside, it's actually outside. So this is a connecting room in a way. A little bit different. Okay. Well, that's mine too. Oh, no way. We, we got our luggage. I don't think they've like started to sort sort them, but we're like right here, so let's go. That, that is that's actually impressive. That was less than an hour. Right. Here we go. Oh, 
You got her room. What, what, let me wow. See. Ooh. Different well, color here. Yeah. Well, let's go on in. I'll give you first honors. <laughs> let's go, baby. Brand new room here. Wait, no wonder everyone's wearing those hats. Because they're in the room. Oh. <laughs> in she goes. Let's go see her room. Wow. Interior. Central Park view. Can you roll that in? I'll get yes. your bag. Right. Bingo banjo. Wow, wow that's stunning. Seating area? <sighs> Smells new. Welcome aboard, everybody. Let's take a look at the, the world's largest cruise ship rooms. This is nice. <laughs> okay, right here we have our entrance, but as you guys can notice, there's no connecting door because the connecting door is actually outside before we get on in the room. Um, and I'm staring right now actually at the bathroom. So now directly to the right, I like that we actually have a touch pad for the degrees and how cold we want the room to be. We have the lights control, close the blinds. I'll show you that in a second. Nice mirror here. There's actually a lot of space, but you know, we have two big suitcases directly kind of in front of us. But here's a look at the bathroom, which surprisingly has more space than I thought there was going to be, which is also really nice. No bathtub. You're only gonna, I think, see bathtubs in the suite level. We're not, we're not in the suites, um, obviously. That would have probably ran us like $10,000. Um, but here's a look at our, 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 our new room. The bathroom, have towels, storage here is nice. Toilet, we're gonna have our sink. Trash can down below, here's the sink with the mirror. Oh, we have outlets in here too. That is a nice touch for the hair dryer. I'm sure Casey will be using that. Now this is cool. I think I actually saw it actually swivels. Look at that. Very efficient way of using space. As far as the space in here, more than you're probably used to on a cruise ship. And here's gonna be the, yep, they have hair and body wash. I know Casey brought her own. She doesn't really prefer that. I, I like that. It's fine for me as a guy. I actually have a seat in the shower as well. So very nice touch here at the beginning of the tour. Now let's head out here. You're gonna see our king size or queen. Is this a king? I think this is a king. king yeah. It is a king. I think this room sleeps three with this, because this turns into a bed, but not a full bed. I think you're right. Sure. Do you think you can open those? I haven't actually seen that yet. It looks like we have some storage there. Baskets. It's really nice. These baskets right here, they pull out so you can put a bunch of things in here. Let's see it. Pull it out. And here is our closet. Oh, it is? Yeah. Is it on wheels? Oh. Oh, okay, no. it's not. Okay. I didn't know it was attached. It's really big. Or I'm sure you can remove those, put them under the bed. And... Here's our closet. Okay. There's oh. actually quite a bit of hangers. I feel like normally there's not that many hangers. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. I don't know what this is. Is this the safe? Maybe. No, I don't no, think safe so. is probably behind us by the desk. This is, I'm not sure. Maybe that's where they have to put electrical stuff. I don't know. Who knows? We're not going to use it. All of these are slow closing, which I know fancy. we love. <laughs> what do we got for outlets over here? We got one outlet, I think an outlet yeah, on each outlet, side. USB. And these are, these, this is how you operate these right here. Or this controls all the lights, it seems, in here. Okay. I think this can split a little bit, but I'm unsure. It does look this? like there's, yeah, they might be able to split it. Cause yeah, you know, sometimes no outlet on this side. looks like it's only on one side of the there's bed, but it does have, right a, yeah, it does have a USB. Now the TV is right here. There's USBs here as well. There's like some extra little shelves right oh, here. Cool. I feel like this is where you can put like toiletry type items. Fair enough. Here's the desk where I'm gonna be spending a lot of the time editing these videos you guys are watching. Hair dryers in here. Looks like we're gonna probably have our fridge. Yup. How big is it is the question. Eh. Average size, kind of tiny. Can't fit a lot in there. I don't feel like we really ever use mini fridge though. Do we? Uh, not really. It's more so if you bring alcohol, which we didn't do this time. Yeah, there's a ton of drawers. And then there is this right here. As well. Whatever you I'm use that for. Oh, okay, I was gonna yeah. know what you're gonna use that for. This is a good makeup, makeup mirror. Here's the couch, which can sleep how many? Probably one. I think it's just one. I don't think it pulls out. I think they just turn this down, and this becomes a mattress. Well, we'll figure that out. We'll show you guys in a future video. But where I'm standing right now 
is the brand new concept on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Casey and I are gonna flip positions here. Also the hats that they gave us. Been, I've already been messing around with it. What do we got here, Casey? Well, it's nice because you can close these curtains, but what I have been noticing is when you look across the way, you actually can't see into the neighbor across the way. You can't see over there. Tinted. Into their, yeah, into their room. So it's nice because these seem to be tinted, but don't quote me on it. So maybe just close it if you're changing. So now this is the new concept. We actually have our balcony within our room. Normally you would have a door here to open to your balcony, but it's actually the balcony inside your room here. And if you press the button right there, the top window is going to come down and it turns in to now a balcony. New design. I don't know what cruise ship this has been on in the past, but now you're one with Central Park. Yep, on, on Royal. It, it's been on some other cruise ship, I don't oh. remember. It's so here's our view. Oh, we're gonna be smelling all the hibachi. Oh, that's nice. The Zumi is right below us. Super and here we are. Let's and keep... this has a... Uh, oh, it has a blind? A shade as well. Really? Oh, you, this has to be up. Okay. Yeah, you can put that up there. You want. <laughs> Bless you. But what do you guys think of this? Uh, this is going to be all of the Central Park, and I believe some ocean views actually have this new concept as well. I mean, I don't mind it. We also have these, obviously, to for privacy at night, since usually it's by the sliding door. But I think it's nice. That's why I wanted to book this to kind of see it. Didn't really. I, I like ocean views, but we did this on the Wonder as well, and I really enjoyed my Central Park view. Just people watching, hearing the music. Oh. Okay, does it go all the way down? Yeah. That's where you get to. Um, sure. This is nice. Whoa. It Wait. did feel really <gasps> hot in here when we first came in from all the sun. Uh huh. So this will. I feel like we should close this for now to let it cool off. This actually does a good job of actually locking out the sunlight. Like it's about to be pitch black. You don't even need these. No shot. That's. That's actually game. <laughs> now it's like we have an interior. Of us need like complete darkness to sleep. The only thing is, I will say you can definitely hear the music. So oh yeah. At night, I would say if you're an early sleeper, probably don't pick the um, what is this called? Central Park. Yeah, Central Park view, basically. Yeah. Or if you don't like waking up super early. I, I think they stop time. at like a certain time, like 10. Probably you know? like 10. They probably start at like 7 or 8, I would imagine. But I don't know. Anyways, guys, what do you think of the room? We're about to hit the live stream here and uh, we're going to get cruising. going to get cruising. What do you guys think? Well, everybody, I know I said that you guys would see the balloon drop in this video, but the concept for tomorrow's video, you guys will see. You will see. It's going to be all in tomorrow's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We are on Icon of the Seas. About to go live here. Super excited. Thank you guys for all the love and support. We are here, and um, Casey's just you know resting a little bit before we go live. But um, that was it for today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, which is going to be a blast. Love you guys, and welcome to inaugural sailing on the Icon of Seas. Bye bye.